And police say an Albuquerque woman stole hundreds of IDs. So why is she not in jail tonight? Good evening. 447 potential victims. That's how many identities police say one woman tried to steal. And investigators say they're still trying to figure out how she was able to get her hands on most of her alleged victims' information. News 13's Maria Medina has more. Well, Mike, Albuquerque police say once Amber Tapia stole the IDs of these people, she devised a clever plan to keep from getting caught until now. Albuquerque police say Amber Tapia lived a good life. Because she had nice clothes, she could go out and eat. But Lieutenant Harold Prudencio says Tapia really lived a life of drugs and lies. He says when they searched her home, they found evidence she tried to steal the identities of nearly 450 people. They kind of really didn't know how, how she got that information. Among the potential victims, two to three hundred customers of a local hotel and workers at a funeral home. Police believe she may have been dumpster diving for the info. And investigators say so Tapia could keep using the credit card she'd opened up in her victims' names. She'd use some of the cards for spending and others to pay off the monthly bills. Like, like a little shell game she has going, you know, pay here, you know, take it from here, and, and just kind of shuffling the money around. And that's not all. Eventually, the credit card companies would catch on and send fraud alerts. But police say when Tapia opened up the accounts, she gave the credit card companies her cell phone and her email address. So if there was fr a fraud identified on the account, she'd be the first one to know. Prudencio says she likely did this for a couple years. In June, they caught her at a P.O. box the bills were being sent to. A district attorney spokesperson says they fought to get Tapia's bond raised after Judge Reed Shepard said it at $7,500. She bailed out on Tuesday. You don't agree that this woman should be out on the streets? Right absolutely now. not. Absolutely not. You know, um, people like this, they only know one way of making a living, and that's by defrauding other people. Now, we did speak to Judge Shepard by phone today. He says Tapia's limited criminal history played a part in his decision to set her bond relatively low. He also said he was not told that Tapia was accused of stealing the identities of hundreds of people. Mike? Okay, Maria, thank you. A woman whose ID was stolen last December actually broke the case. Police say they discovered Tapia had done it and racked up thousands of dollars in charges under the woman's name.